tuning in, GTM Farm and Rabbitry. We're just going to do a, a quail update and a rabbit update today. But some very happy news with the rabbit. So, um, Harlow and Sowell both kindled in the last 36 hours. Harlow had a litter of 12 kits. Well, okay, 13, but one of them didn't make it. But that's huge. Her last litter was five. Meanwhile, Snowbell had a litter of eight. And. Five of those survived. Actually, when I went out this morning and there were kits, of course we were in a hurry when I found them, they were all cold, but um, some of the rabbit boards I'm in, I've seen them say, it's not dead till it's warm and dead. <laughs> so we brought them all inside, we spent as much time as we had warming them up, and four of them revived, and then the last four we brought with us, I actually had them tucked in my shirt when we brought my son to his appointment, and another one did. So we had five revive out of the eight, which is pretty great. So let's take a look at them, and then we'll look at the quail too, and I'm gonna show you guys the new setup we're gonna have for the quail, because this one is just not working for me. All right, here are our nest boxes. Uh, I'd say this one's hollows, because there's some gray in it. Let's see if we can peek in at the babies. Oh, look at them. They're not gonna stay inside. Some people shelve their babies, which is bringing them in when it's cold. Gosh, 12 babies in here. So warm, beautiful nest. I'm not shelving them. I just had brought them in to check on them and I didn't have time to bring them back out this morning. And it is very cold out, so it's not a big deal. Rabbits only feed once or twice a day at dawn and dusk. So these ones will be fine. Look at the coloring on this one. It's really amazing. All right, I'm gonna bring them back out actually right after the video. Now that we're home, we just run in today. Here we go. Tucked back in and no one strayed. I did not know how much rabbits' kits moved before this. But they make sounds too. They chirp and stuff. All right, here's Snowbell's nest. I'm gonna have to rebuild this one because there's pee and poop in it from her. But here we have our babies. Those are actually bigger. I'm gonna make sure they're all still doing okay. Let's make sure. Oh, I don't know. This one doesn't seem like it's moving. That stinks because it had revived before we left this morning. And now, I guess it didn't. <sighs> that's very sad. But that's still four of eight. It might have just been too far gone. It's kind of funny looking, but you see, in here, four big wiggly babies. This one is gonna be red. Look at them. We had put um, this heating pad in with them. It's just a sock filled with rice. It's nothing fancy. All right. Let's see if we get. They're so cute. Even so, that's 16 beautiful babies. So that's good. I'm happy with those numbers. It's definitely more than I would have expected, considering I wasn't even sure they were pregnant. So that's the update with the rabbits. And yeah, this. I think I put the cage. This in her cage too early. There's like some poop in there. Now let's take a look at the quail. So, they can fly now, and I hate it. They're so beautiful, but they're, oh, they scare me, they fly at me. I don't even know if I wanna open this to show you them better. 10 beautiful quail. <laughs> look at that white one, that one's my favorite. Over here, this is the feeder. It's just like a shoebox sized, um, Tupperware from, I, I didn't make it, but this is like a Tupperware from the dollar store and then they put like PVC inlets leading to the food. It's supposed to help reduce waste. Do you hear them? They're so loud. Look at that. They want to escape. They're not even quite three weeks old yet. They were born on the second. Oh, I guess they are... I guess they are exactly three weeks old today. In another week, they'll be able to ditch the heat plate. I need to feed and water them. Today's been really crazy. I'm off my schedule. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. But we're gonna get the new 
enclosure set up for them. And I'll show you how we do that and get it all ready.